is it recording? Don't have a viewfinder, so this is the best I can do. Okay. Hello vlog. Hi, welcome or welcome back. Uh, my name is Caitlin. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that I've been going through lately um, just because I don't have any other motivation this week to make a video about something that is unrelated to what I'm going through because it's just what I'm going through is something that's stressing me out haven't really been myself and I wanted to take this opportunity to spread more awareness about it um, and just kind of let you guys know, um, educate y'all a little bit on what I will be talking about. So what I'm going to be talking about today or what I have is called dysautonomia, um, otherwise known as basically a disorder of the nervous system and I also am diagnosed with POTS, um, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, as well as orthostatic hypotension. Now those are a lot of big words you're probably, I don't know what your medical or educational background is but you're probably like girl what. Um, so basically with the dysautonomia um, my nervous system doesn't work like a regular person's. My parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system are kind of always fighting each other and your sympathetic nervous system is responsible for your fight or flight response or your stress response but is also your like what's the other word your like go like get things done in terms of like your productivity or like um, your motivational side of things um and then my parasympathetic or your your parasympathetic nervous system is known as the rest and digest response which is the opposite like that's when you feel relaxed or your body is able to digest things so that's kind of about dysautonomia I'll also put a chart on the screen here that someone um, sent to me that was really helpful and me understanding because when I was first diagnosed with um, POTS it was in summer of 2020 kind of right before COVID hit I didn't really think much of it I just had a lot of spouts of dizziness and I wasn't really sure why and they diagnosed me with it and with POTS I'm getting out of breath just saying this um a lot of the symptoms are shortness of breath dizziness fainting spells um or pre-syncope pre-syncope which is like feeling like you're gonna pass out but sometimes you don't I've only fainted from it once um thankfully um but I've come close several times and there there are a lot of things that go on with POTS but um, basically my body has a really hard time retaining liquids um, and keeping me hydrated so when I'm dehydrated is when my POTS is like the absolute worst like I can't function and when I stand up um, or even sitting down um, my heart rate will like spike um, today, earlier today, when I was getting my hair done, um, I thought I was going to pass out in the chair because my heart rate got up to 138 and I was just sitting there. And that is an everyday thing for me. Like, literally, if I'm not laying down, um, I feel like I'm going to pass out. Even when I'm laying down, I feel like I'm going to pass out. Um, and it's been pretty bad lately. I, like hadn't really had many problems with it ever since I was diagnosed like I've noticed in the summer it gets a little bit worse and I get a little more wonky you could say like I don't really feel like myself and I feel really tired a lot of the time and this year it just has been kicking my ass let me tell you and a lot of the other symptoms that go along with it are like fatigue shortness of breath nausea a bunch of other like unpleasant things like it sucks and with my dysautonomia and my POTS, I pretty much feel like I'm not even in my own body 99% of the time. Um, and it really sucks. It's been really, really hard lately. Like, it's been a really hard week. Um, not to mention the past couple of weeks before this, I had, like, some little flares. I haven't been able to work as much as I want to work. I haven't been able to work with the kids as much as I want to work with the kids. And that's, like, my favorite part of my job. I don't want to cry, but, like, it's having a huge effect on my life and my everyday function. And I just wanted to talk about it because I didn't know where else to talk about it besides on Facebook. Like, on Facebook, I found some support groups that are really great and have been really helpful for me um, in finding like at least short-term ways to alleviate some of my symptoms alleviate some of the fatigue and like feeling out of it just all of the time and I've had an okay day today like going and getting my hair done this morning was a bit of a challenge I had to take like nausea medicine and a clonazepam to stop the uh, I also get like adrenaline 
dumps or adrenaline surges so I was kind of going in and out of that like while at my hair appointment and I was like okay and in the past the clonazepam for me has helped with that so I took that eventually started to feel better not as um pre-syncope is syncope or syncope the right way to pronounce it I have no idea but I started to feel less like I was gonna pass out and I feel a little bit better now I ate did some stuff uh but I just wanted to talk about it on here and let if anyone else is struggling with it um let you know that you're not alone it is really scary and can be really lonely um I had a pretty bad scare Monday night um and I had to call the paramedics because I didn't know what was happening to me my mom refused to take me to the emergency room so I didn't know what else to do and when I have scares like that I've had a few of them now I feel this overwhelming sensation just that something is wrong um I get like tinnitus so like ringing in my ears I feel a throbbing in the back of my head um all over my head really and like just like throbbing or like pulsating zap kind of feeling that's the worst part uh and the vertigo is like terrible um headaches like pounding headaches i'll get pins and needles all over my body tingling no waves of nausea uh my pupils get huge like humongously dilated I just feel like I'm either going to have a seizure or like my head is going to fall off. And I found these support groups on Facebook, was kind of sharing most of my symptoms on there, um, and I was able to find a lot of good resources for upper cervical chiropractic care because I think a lot of it has to do with my back. I also have scoliosis, so I'm already wonky to begin with, but I think a lot of it has to do with that, so I thought I would say that in this video. I know like chiropractic care sounds crazy, like how is that going to treat your pot? I don't know maybe it'll help with some of it at least um, I'm at a point where I'm literally willing to try anything and also having a metaphobia and experiencing all of these symptoms is terrifying because I'm trying so hard to like go through my cure your emetophobia and thrive program while still dealing with all of these symptoms on a daily basis and constantly feeling terrified of my own body um, it's not a fun feeling and I feel like a lot of people don't understand it and that's a lot of the feeling with this autonomia too is feeling like you aren't even in your own body I've told my mom and several people around me I just feel like a zombie and that's like the scariest part of it and kind of the saddest it's not it's not pleasant at all but like I said, I just wanted to come on here in case there is anyone else who is going through the same thing I am. I want you to know that you're not alone. I feel really alone and I know I'm not, but uh, there are some days when I just wish I felt normal. I wish I felt like I was here, like like I could be present talking to my coworkers or my friends or my parents. Like I'm not really myself. I have moments where I do feel like myself and moments where I don't. And it gets really hard. It gets really hard not to feel hopeless. Um, I don't want to get like too deep on me, but like it sucks. That's pretty much it. That's me complaining about it. It's like it fucking sucks, but I'm just trying really hard to stay hopeful and keep believing in myself, keep nourishing my body as best as I can, trying to get myself back to feeling like myself as much as I possibly can, even if it's only a little. And you know, if there's anyone else that can relate. Please know you're not alone. Please know that even if your family doesn't understand, or your coworkers doesn't, don't understand, your boss doesn't understand, they think you're fine, they say like, you don't look sick, or you're too young to be this sick, like, you are still valid. Uh, dysautonomia and POTS are like an invisible illness. They are chronic, they are debilitating, um, and extremely hard to live an everyday life with um so if you like say you don't have any of those but you know someone who does oh, i don't want to cry try your best to be there for them and support them fuck i don't want to cry <sighs> but yeah that's just kind of a rant i guess um I'll keep you guys posted on the upper cervical care if I can. I was also doing a lot of research on a place in Florida called Caring Medical and I had thoughts of like trying to go there but I want to try things close to me first before I jump to any conclusions. As much as I want like a fast solution, um, I would like to give this a shot, uh, especially with my scoliosis too. I feel like it can help a lot. Um, I do have a lot of upper and lower back pain pretty much all the time especially with my pots after standing at work my back feels like it's going to explode so 
hopefully this can alleviate some of that at least. My appointment is next Friday, so if I make a video about it, it'll be here. If I don't, I'll update y'all at some point about it, but that is like the one thing, my one glimmer of hope right now. Um, another little glimmer of hope for me is the fact that I see Harry Styles in 10 days, uh, and I'm so excited and not gonna lie i'm scared of my symptoms like making it hard for me but i don't care i literally will die for that man so i'm still going um it's in austin i literally don't know how i'm gonna get there that's the gag that's the tea but i will get there one way or another yeah I think that's pretty much all I had to say. I can leave some resources in the links down below if you want to do more research. Um, if you are diagnosed with dysautonomia and you are having symptoms or you just don't know what the fuck is going on with your body, I got you. Um, a lot of the research I've been, or at least like with a lot of the research I've done and the videos I've watched, I can leave them down below for you guys. And um, another symptom I have been experiencing quite a bit is brain fog, um, a lot of difficulty concentrating, which is why I haven't been on my A-game with my videos, so I apologize and I hope you guys can be patient with me. I'm trying my very best, literally every day, I'm just trying my very best, so yeah. I just got this overwhelming urge to like make a video about it, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna turn on my camera and just say what I gotta say, because no one else in my life seems to get it, not even like my parents and my family and that is like a really lonely feeling i don't want to cry about it but like it's really lonely and i feel like no one understands me and if someone else can watch this and relate to that know that i understand you and just do your best to understand yourself express what you need and do not feel sorry for it do not feel guilty for it if you have to get accommodations at work or you have to quit your job or you have to whatever you have to do to do the best thing for yourself do it and don't feel sorry for it. and that's my biggest my um my biggest battle right now is like not beating myself up and not uh holding myself back but yeah that's i think that's it i think that's all i gotta say i keep saying that but um yeah that's all i have to say if you've made it this far i really appreciate you being here thank you for watching um if you would like to you can subscribe like the video um and follow me on my instagram homegirl really just cut me off as i was finishing up uh, follow me on my instagrams i have two i have my main page and my modeling page they will both be in the description and on the screen like i said i will leave resources below for anyone that may want to look at them and i love you guys so much thanks for being here i am like three subscribers away from 300 subscribers so like if you want to subscribe you literally can because it's literally free i'm just saying like it's literally right there and it's free you have nothing to lose and yeah that's all I have to say. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.